Hi, I'm Roger Moore, and this is Hypnosis Health Info. Yeah, I, I'm just really excited. I've had uh, actually three uh, teenagers in this week that each one of them has uh, been down anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 pounds that they've let go of in the last few weeks of this summer and, and been doing just really well. And a young man that's uh, a college student that is doing really well and, and been getting um, just a lot of very positive feedback uh, from the families of these individuals about the, uh, how excited they are about the changes in behavior that they're seeing amongst these individuals. And, and what's been interesting to me also is that uh, these kids that I'm working with have been talking with their friends about what it is they're doing. And uh, more and more phone calls are coming in from moms and dads who want to set up uh, consultations. I offer a no-charge consultation uh, for their family to see if this program would be appropriate for their children, child or children who have uh, issues with, with uh, childhood obesity. And you know, folks, uh, I'm very passionate about childhood obesity. It's a very preventable disease, and it's something that that uh, we just absolutely cannot afford as a nation to allow to continue. And, and we need to change uh, the lifestyle of providing healthy foods for our kids and getting our kids out and moving. And there was a, a report yesterday in WebMD, which was uh, August 17th of 2010, that talks about overweight kids' risk for weak bones and diabetes. And it says researchers, researchers says abdominal fat may play a role in bone strength. Overweight children who are at risk for developing diabetes before puberty also face greater odds for having weak bones, a new study indicates. Researchers at the Medical College of Georgia studied 140 children between the ages of 7 and 11 who got little regular exercise and found that 30% showed signs of poor blood sugar regulation and 4 to 5% less bone mass, which is a measure of bone strength. The researcher says that their new study is the first to suggest a link between weaker bones and childhood risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And while overweight children may have more bone mass than normal weight kids, it may not be big or strong enough to compensate for their larger size. Our greatest window of opportunity to enhance bone strength and ultimately reduce the risk of osteoporosis is during childhood before the capacity to build bone mass diminishes. One of the best things you can do for bone development and general health is exercise. So folks, get your kids you know, away from, from the computers, from, from their uh, iPads or iPhones, and, and uh, get them out, get them moving. Behavior changes can head off problems. Kids have time to make positive changes that will reduce their future risk for developing diabetes and weak bones. Parents should pay close attention to the diet and eating uh, behaviors of their children as preventative measures for diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and reduced bone mass. So folks, you know, I, I just feel so strongly about this. Please, parents, show up. Be responsible for your kids. Stop bringing in the junk food, the processed food. Stop taking your kids to fast food restaurants. Feed them real food cook at home or if you're taking them to a restaurant, make sure it's a place that, that serves plant-based foods, that, that has real vegetables, that has real fruits, fruits, that has real whole grains. Get them away from the mac and cheese and the french fries and the potato chips, the greasy hamburgers. Get them to real food. Get them off the couch from uh, in front of the TV, the computer, their, their Game Boys. Get them out there in their, their Xboxes, get them out there in the world and get them moving, keep them active. And hypnosis works really great for kids. They're naturals at it, it comes easy for them. And, uh, but it does require that, that the whole family gets involved when it comes to weight loss. Because it just doesn't work uh, for me to have a, a teenager or a child uh, leave my office just thrilled and excited about uh, taking weight off, about exercising, about e eating healthy, and have mom too busy and drive them to McDonald's uh, for dinner. That doesn't work, so it does require that for kids to, to lose weight, it has to be a family affair. So if you have a child or children who are overweight, um, give me a call at 
1232 or send me an email, roger at hypnosishealthinfo.com. If you're here in the Puget Sound area, you can come here to my Seattle office in the Medical Dental Building or over to my office in the Garden Plaza on Bainbridge Island. And if you live too far away, then give me a call, send me an email, and we'll set up a telephone and Skype sessions for your family, for your ch child or children, and we'll create a program together, you and I, we'll create a program that allows your child to take the weight off and keep it off. And that's really what it is all about, is changing their relationships with themselves, their relationship with food, and creating a healthy relationship, getting out, getting moving, being active creating a, a happy and healthy life, living, living a life of, of being in control of what they eat, how much they eat, and ultimately their weight. I'm Roger Moore, and this is Hypnosis Health Info.